Hello friends, DCY Stezza here bringing you another episode of Request a Build and today we'll be covering the solar panel machine. Um, this was requested of me in one of my uh, latest videos um, and here it is. Um, I would have loved to have built the machine whilst recording it um, but the video would have just been far too long, it would have been like 50 minutes. So what I'm going to do is, I've built it, and I'm going to go through it section by section, explaining exactly how it is it works, so that you can get a rough idea on how you would go about building your own, or you can make the blueprints to copy the design I've done here. So it's essentially up to you. So as you can see, the glowstone blocks that are on the ground are actually used as a mapping tool. Um, I would really suggest that you m sort of map it out physically not just mentally before you get started because it really did help to to finish this thing so yeah I'm gonna get started so uh, here we go right so the solar panel is divided into what I consider four different sections okay you've got one section which is one of the circuits you've got another section which is one of the other circuits you've got the generator and then you've got the non consequential items which are the items that don't really require much uh, construction to do which is the glass and the coal dust okay so I don't really consider those to be very difficult to get so they sort of like combine to make their own section so let's so basically in my mind I decided that from one side of the chest would come one electronic circuit from the other would be another one from one would be the generator and one would be these so essentially from the main um, crafting spot in the center I wanted to come from four different directions which is exactly what I've done so as you can see that being the center it goes off in four different directions each side has its own task and that is to generate that section of the solar panel so that's quite an easy way of thinking about it in your mind so this is using uh, red power for some of the movement and build craft for some of the other movement I'll explain why I have done this as I go so we will start with one of the circuits because these are mirrored on both sides. These are identical. So if I show you one side, then you'll know how the other side works. So on this side, forget about the power. I'll cover that in a minute. So on this side, we have a energy condenser chest making sticky resin with one Mark III energy collector there. Now, I'd like to say that the energy collectors are not important because you could have level ones and just let them sit there and fill the chest for an hour and then you could turn on the machine. So I've made it level threes just for convenience for me. But you could have level ones and just let them build up for a while before turning the machine on. Or you could have none and physically fill the machines with EMC. You could put diamonds or whatever in there to build up EMC. So like I wouldn't really worry about how many mark how many energy collectors I have on them because that's really up to you on how quickly you want to make that resource but sticky resins make sure it's just one and then you have two in the filter option here and then you have your extractor because obviously sticky resin is extracted into rubber the reason why I've got two is just because so it's always full it's always got 64 there um, and then I've got overclockers in there to speed up the process. I've gone eight overclockers in most of the machines in this setup, so bear that in mind. Then I've got a LV transformer with enough power to make sure that this is constantly full of power. So that's, so that's that. So I've got a filter here that's pumping that into there. And I've got a filter which is taking out two rubber from here. It takes it down this pipe and into this chest. Now this chest is essentially a... Um, auto crafting buff buffer essentially because if this gets full <coughs> it just won't accept it anymore but an auto crafting table can actually take its resources from a chest that's adjacent so if it's like filled up this chest of resources it will take it from there and then use it in the auto crafting so all of my automatic crafting tables have got these buffers then from this side we've got copper being made it's being put through a single copper filter and into this chest because as you may or may not know this is going to be making the tubing and essentially it's two rubber for every one copper because of the ratio here. Now one thing I will say is because this piping is traveling much further you might want to consider putting it up to three but that doesn't really matter. Why these chests are so good is if there's a lot more copper than rubber being used the copper will just slowly build up in the chest but you know it will take a while for it to like get to be a problem and by that and then the filter will just stop sending it. So you've got quite a long time to realize that it's building up too much. So this machine, I left it on 
for about 40 minutes without any maintenance until it started to like get jammed and it made a lot of solar panels in that time so like no maintenance you can run it for like an hour so like this is pretty ideal this machine you wouldn't leave it on forever well you wouldn't leave any machine on forever so that's that right so one thing i will mention is that red power does not like interacting with automatic crafting tables in terms of removing it if I had a Mark II crafting table, that would be possible, but I personally can't stand Mark II crafting tables because they piss me off. So I take a sip for my coffee. So, I have got a red power pipe taking it from this chest and into here. Now, the reason why this isn't really a problem is because it's going to be making redstone and uh, refined iron faster than it is the piping. So this becomes what they call, um, what do they call it? Uh, I can't even remember the word now. It's like, um, it's a wanted item. So it's like, it will be used, it, as soon as this arrives, it will use it faster than how these arrive, because these have got redstone piping, so the discrepancy for overflow is much higher than this one, because this one will just fall on the floor, but this one won't. So as soon as this item reaches out, it'll instantly get used. And what that does is it uses the piping to make a circuit. So from this side, you've got your redstone. You've got a single redstone in this filter. And then on this side, you've got a single refined iron. Now I will cover this in a minute when we do that side. So let's bear in mind for me there. So you've got your re refined iron and your redstone coming into this chest here, which meets with the, uh, with, with the uh, cabling from this section and then creates an electronic circuit which then gets removed by uh, build craft once again and it gets moved up into the final crafting chest so that is the electronics that's the electronic circuit now that is entirely mirrored on this side the only difference is between this side and that side is that the refined iron on that side is a combination of this lane and this lane whereas this is just a single one so but well you'll, you'll know what i mean and i'll explain it in a minute so this one is just making our um if i can find it this is just making iron by itself. And it's taking the iron from the chest, single iron, moving it into here where it's f uh, furnished into refined iron. Then it's removed by a single refined iron filter from here into this chest, which mixes with the redstone, which makes exactly the same thing. But it's just basically making the refined iron on its own as opposed to being a combination of two lanes. That'll make more sense in a minute. So. That's essentially making an electronic circuit from that side and electronic from that side. So that's our two electronic circuits covered. Okay, so now we'll cover the generator. This is probably the most complicated part of it because this is, it's a, it's a big part of the solar panel. So over this side, we have our sticky resin, which I covered earlier on. It's this two resin goes into uh, an extractor, which has got eight overclockers in it, which takes two rubber out, puts it into here to a ratio of one copper coming from here because it's a one copper to two rubber ratio. It's exactly the same as that one over there, okay? So, yeah, just so you can get a good look at it in case you're just gonna copy this build bit for a bit. Then you got red power coming out of here. Now, once again, this is a necessary item, so as soon as it reaches this chest, it'll get used immediately. Okay, now on this side, you've got uh, redstone, which is pumping it out at a ratio of one. And on this side, you've got tin. This is where it changes. So you've got tin being made in the chest, and you've got a ratio of two tin coming out of this filter, which meets into this chest. So essentially, in this chest, you've got four tin, two redstone, and a copper cable that need to be used. Now, the reason why I've done this is because, again, one redstone to every two tin. So that's why it's a ratio of one to two. So, and this is obviously going a lot faster, so the, the, the copper cable will get used up immediately. So that, that's that. So that makes your rechargeable battery. So that is essentially that side of the machine. Once the rechargeable battery is done, it'll be removed with this buildcraft piping and moved into this chest where it will combine with these two sections. This is where it gets a tiny bit complicated. Over this side, you have a furnace maker. Okay, so furnaces are classed as an EMC value of eight. Now I've moved this a little bit further away. It was right next to it, but I've moved it a bit further away because you've got buildcraft pipe here and then redstone pipe here so the furnaces tended to like stack up a little bit in here if you find that the furnaces are stacking up too much in here you can move it another block or two blocks down the road as you can see there's plenty of room for it that will actually slow down the rate at which the furnaces go into this chest so that's a you know just a heads up there 
Now on this side, this is where it gets a little bit complicated. On this side, you have iron ingots getting pumped out at a ratio of 5 into this electronic furnace, which has got your 8 overclockers in it, like everything else. Okay, and this has got 10 refined iron ratio coming out of this furnace. Now the reason why that is, is because this... Uh, this part of the recipe needs machine blocks because to make a generator it's a furnace machine block and a rechargeable battery So we've got the rechargeable battery. We've got the furnace. We just need the machine block Okay, we can't have the refining iron go straight into the, uh, the chest because it needs to be turned into a machine block first so as We if we go back a few steps for this electronic circuit remember we needed one refined iron and it takes uh, one two three four five six seven eight iron Okay, eight iron to make the machine block. So, if it gets pumped out in ratios of 10, when it reaches this point, it'll go, aha, I need eight. So it takes it out in refined for, uh, eight from this filter here. So that's a ratio of eight. And this one has been told to do a ratio of one. So every time 10 hits it, it'll go eight, one, one, because it can't take eight out of the one that's left. So it'll go eight, one, one. 8, 1, 1, 8, 1, 1, every time that 10 hits this chest. So that's how that ratio works. It then goes into this chest, which is the buffer chest, and then gets used in here to make the machine block, okay? It works on any direction, the the, the crafting table, in, re in, relation, um, in relation to the chest, going to go work out. And then it gets removed by the build craft pipe into this chest, which becomes the buffer, and then it makes your generator, which is your furnace, your machine block, and your rechargeable battery. Okay, okay, you still with me? I'm just gonna. I just keep taking bird's eye view so that if you guys out there who are just purely copying this build, you can, you can do so. So that is essentially that. So that's now making our generators, which gets moved out by this build craft pipe and gets moved into our final craft chest. Okay, so now we have the generator and the two electronic circuits. The last bit is the non-consequential items, which is the uh, coal and the glass. So this is very, very simple. You just have glass being made at ratio of one that comes from here into this chest here. Okay. Now on this side, you've got your... Uh, it's nearly the same as the rubber one, but it isn't. So it's making coal. Okay, it's getting pulled out at a ratio of one. It reaches this. This is um, a rotary macerator. Just my skin's messing up. Okay. Then it turns uh, the coal into coal dust. Okay, so it goes... I've got four in here. Not eight, because the rotary macerator is already pretty quick once it gets going. Uh, and four makes it very quick. So that, again, gets pumped out at a ratio of one, which gets moved into this chest. Okay, so now the coal and the glass are now culminate, culminating in this chest. This is this is removing one glass. This is removing one coal. It's coming down to the same one. I've used the restriction pipe to make sure it doesn't go back up the same way. It comes down here and into the final chest. Okay, and the reason why they both go into one chest and not two separate chests is because... You know, I essentially have to have it go into the same pipe again. You know, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just saving room, essentially. So that's it. So your coal dust gets mixed with your glass into this chest, which gets moved down to the final crafting table. And that's it. Now we have all our items. Now to the right of this, we've got our crafting table with our final solar panel um, recipe. And we have a build craft pipe pumping it out and putting it into here. So that is it. That is literally your, so your solar panel machine. Now, I'll go into the power. What I've essentially done over here is I've made a manual clock. Now, the only reason why I use it like this is because sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes, timers on my servers and on my single player, uh, single player servers seem to lag out a little bit. And, I don't know, this just feels natural to me because, you know, I, I've not always had timers. So I've all I've essentially got here, I'm going to make it uh, daytime so you can see a bit better, is I've got a, uh, a frequency one transmitter with your classic timer set up here. And then on every single filter, I have a receiver which has got a frequency of one. On every single filter in this machine, there is a receiver. So rather than just putting it on the pipes and having it all be very complicated, I've just had... It, this saves a lot of room, trust me. If you can't afford to have this many receivers, you can essentially have <coughs> the redstone piping, redstone, redstone circuitry even go to every single one of these filters. You know, you just need a redstone current. I can leave that up to you guys. That's pretty simple. You just need to have a redstone current go to every single one of those receivers that you can see down below me. Um, and that is essentially it. So what I've done here is I've given it... Um, 
this would be I'm not sure how long that is I think it's one I think it's three seconds per one two no it can't be so that's like two or three seconds delay or something like that so when I pull this lever that looks like about a second and a half two second delay it's now making the, the signal go on and off and as you can see the machine springs to life so as you can see exactly how I described the all the machine parts start kicking into gear and it starts making it and to prove that it all works I'm going to sit here and watch this so as you can see the the, uh, the coal dust and the glass is moving up here we go here's our uh, circuits so as you can see it's a pretty constant stream of circuits coming through and here come the generators now the generators are going to start off like in a burst and then they'll slow down a little bit and there you go that is all your components coming into one section here just waiting for the generators to kick and there we go there's the generators there you have it that is your solar panel machine and as you can see solar panels are coming out of the final part now the only thing that can really go wrong with this is well sorry three things that can go wrong with this they're very easy to fix the first thing is make sure that your redstone engines are nicely warmed up before you turn the machine on the good way to do this is to just never turn them off. <laughs> the other thing is that these chests sometimes like build up. Like they build up certain materials. Like you can see here it's starting to build up. This will take a long time to happen. Basically my advice to you is just don't leave this machine on all the time. If you need solar panels then turn it on and let it make solar panels while you're doing something. <laughs> it's going to make solar panels pretty quickly. Like a solar panel every sort of three seconds. So it's, it's happening quickly. Or you can just fly around like I've been doing and just check on these chests, you know. Okay, I'm going to, oh, you know, I'm going to have a look at, okay, so this is building up a little bit. I'll just take it out and put it in my inventory. And you can turn it back into EMC, you can put it in a chest to store it, whatever you want to do. Now, that's very, again, very simple to fix. Now, the last thing is power. These things are eating this power quite quickly. Now, these can, this machine can break down quite quickly if it stops getting, um, EU because it stops making rubber, it stops making coal, it stops making iron. So you either want to have an MFSU rather than an MFE with a lot of power in there so it can continue to run at night or you just only ever want to have this running in day or you use a different power source. You just want to make sure that these are always running. If they run out of power then things start to go wrong. Uh, that is pretty much all that can go wrong with this. Um, that is essentially the solar panel machine. Um, this build is pretty much the basic build. There are a lot of people out there who have made things that are different. Not necessarily better, but different. Some of them are can, can be considered better. This is your basic build. From here, you can make whatever it is you want to make. You can copy this build exactly. But this build has got very little that can go wrong with it. So uh, it's a good build to copy if you want to copy it. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been able to build it as I go, but as you can see, it's been quite hard. It's been quite a long video just me explaining it, let alone me building it. Um, I hope this has been useful. Um, if you have any other requests, please leave a comment below and I will check them out. And any ones that I feel that I can do, I will do and I will make a video on it. So make sure you leave that comment below. Make sure you subscribe if you want to watch other tutorials that I will be doing in the future or have done in the past. Make sure you thumbs up if you like this video because that's how I judge what videos I should do and shouldn't do. I've been DCY Stairs and you've been amazing and I will see you next time.